Hi everyone, welcome back. Hi there. So today we're going to be working with alcohol inks. Um, absolutely love them, adore them. Been working with them for quite a while now. Um, not that you've seen, but um, but I have been putting them in my um, pictures gently and slowly and um, been studying them and things like that so there's a lot of alcohol ink in this picture behind me for instance and um, yeah and I've slowly been bringing them in because I love the vibrance of the colours of them you know uh, they're absolutely amazing um, so um, what I've done is I've bought some yuppo paper I shall put a picture on you'll see it at the end of the video and um, and then I've taped it down to the board and um, and then I've uh, moved on from that. Uh, I've bought a pair of gloves just because it does stain your hands and everything. And um, I have some isopramol which I've put just in a little sprayer and in a little one here that I just drop out onto it. And then I've been using my square teeth. Um, which it's used for, it's for squirting, it's an air squirter and used to, uh, they're really for cameras and for squirting out any dust in the camera and a few of you will know I'm a keen photographer so I've, I've been using it for that as well so I thought, oh this is great, this is ideal, I can spread out the ink with this so, um, so this is the first part of the video, so I'm just creating a background at the moment and then we'll be able to Nero over the top. And then um, something else I wanted to show you as well. Can you remember when I was working in a book and doing, um, back in one of the other videos and we was doing um, Nero art in, in a book, you know, plain book. Well, what I've done is I've cut out a few of the bits that I liked and, um, and, and I've saved them because I said that you'd be able to use them for collaging. They're really different and I really like them. You could, I could use that side look or that side and uh, same again. Look, I've got that side and that side. Just cut out two for now. I, might, I may cut out one more. Uh, I'll leave it in the book though. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not uh, weird like that where everything's got to be all beautiful. Um, so, um, yeah, so just thought I'd show you that and um, and then I've been uh, using that and now I'll show you at the end how I just pop that onto the painting and they will just pop right out because the contrast is completely different and if you look at the colours that are, that are on here the, the colours that I've been using um, in the alcohol ink are they are all cool colours so they're all going to be going back and they're soft and I've blended them together nicely. These are warm colours, the yellow ochre and the, the, the browns and the, the dark oranges and things. And even the black, uh, those colours, they all come forward. So when you put those in your painting of cut on top of cool colours, obviously you've added a difference and it's made it, that it will look like it's coming, you know, they will be popping right out. So, although they don't match the colours, they will add a contrast to of difference to your painting when it's done. Alright, so uh, as I normally say, without further ado, um, I'll get on to showing you how I've been using the alcohol inks. Any questions, ask me in the uh, comments below. And um, these are the alcohol inks. Let me just show you before I start. I've got a few in a box here, look. Now, I just literally bought them for, uh, off of Amazon. They weren't very expensive, um, not too expensive anyway, for a, a big set. I can't remember how much that they were. And these were only the cheapest brands. So, obviously, just like paint, the pigment is stronger the more money that you pay. And um, so, uh, and but these are alcohol inks. And although I've been using alcohol inks for quite a while now, I've not been using them the way that they're meant to be used. I've used them for mixed media. So, um, what I've done is um, I'm just showing you how I move them around the paper. And um, I'll sh put, uh, like I said, I'll put a picture on of uh, the uh, Yupu paper. Uh, oh, and um, so 
obviously I'm not a professional at this, but I do like to dabble in it, and so um, I'm hoping that you'll enjoy having a dabble too. It's something that's different, it's nice. And I've been, you see, I've been studying clouds and things as well, and bubbles, and still on the spheres of, of uh, balls, making them into spheres and jumping out at you. And I like that at the moment. I've probably had nearly a year's work at just just on these balls but putting them in different areas and of course the neuro art comes through with this as well and so um but um if you pop over to denise johnson on she's on here um uh, she's on facebook as well um i'll put in a link of hers below um but she's on here under uh, Denise Johnson alcohol inks and um, and I think it's um, for the love of alcohol but if you if you if you love of alcohol or something like that if you type that in it will bring into the Facebook it will bring up Denise's um, group and uh, ask to join the group it's great or you just join us I think it's an open group fantastic and you'll learn loads about alcohol ink there but bringing it in in neuro, neuro art, which is what we want. And But I wanted to just demonstrate on here and show you how beautiful it can actually be. Oh, it's, it's never ending, it's lovely, I love it. Okay, so without further ado, we'll have a look. So welcome back. So you've seen the end product, but I, I've done it in fast time um, just because it's fun. Um, but I'm going to show you in real time now just how to move the inks around so you can have a go and see how much fun it is. All right then, excuse my gloves, they are miles too big. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna pop the camera down. So here we are, so I've got my little puffer. And all it is, look, it just squirts out onto your hand and it's lovely. All right, so I'm just going to pop spray on here. This is just alcohol ink in here. Not a very good sprayer, actually. I'm just going to spray some on here just to get it started a little bit. And I'm going to wipe it with a baby wipe. It's great fun, this is. Just gets it started a little bit, I've found. And then I've got this ready. I've got my window open right at the side of me. That's why the lighting's not very good, I'm afraid. So, which colour shall we start off? Let's start off with a purple. Well, that'll be that be different. So I'm just going to blob them on. Well, that's came out. And look at that. Look how that moves straight away. Absolutely beautiful. 
I'm going to fill this page up completely. I've put tape around the edge. And straight away, when I put those blobs on, I'm going to add some alcohol eye proof. Uh, eye proof. Um, it's uh, isoperable, so, um, which I've shown you already. And I'm just squirting it with this blower look. Um, now, if you had a air blower, which I probably will invest in because this is really beautiful and such fun to do, you can just move it around. It's lovely. You can blow it. But I found that when you blow it, what ends up happening is that you end up with lots of spiders, and I'm not so thrilled with those going off. Adding a little bit more, look. The more that you add, the paler it gets. So this is lovely. Just look at that. So you're getting one or two. You can just leave it and let it do its own thing if you want. But you imagine doing flowers like this would be beautiful. And they all interlock into each other. Not much going on on this side of the page. I'll spread this out a bit. I'm not sure whether it will bleed underneath the... Um, I th oh yeah, it is doing. I can see it through it actually. So it's, but the the reason, the main reason why I taped it down was um, not to stop it bleeding actually. Because if you, if you wanted to save the picture, you're going to do it with a. You're going to do it with. Um, you're going to save it and just put. It's going to go right up to the edge anyway and put a border over the top. Um, you know a. Um, what do you call it over the top a. A mount mat. Right, so what colour am I going to put in with that? Something completely different. Let's have a look. About this bluey green. Oh, it's turquoise. And again, I'm just going to put this on. Oh, I'm going to go through with this one. It's lovely. Um, so, yeah, but the main reason is I've done it on a board because it's, it's very messy. And the thing is you can lift the board up and you can move the ink around like this um, there's lots of different ways that you can move the ink around and different techniques and this is what I was saying about Denise Johnson's amazing at doing this um, she you know she will see if you if you look her up um, but I'm really having fun and doing this myself and I love it and so it doesn't really matter whether you're doing it with neuro art, whether you're not doing it with neuro art, doesn't doesn't matter. You can make some beautiful patterned pictures. I'm just doing this um, randomly and just so that I can show you how you know you move actually move it all around. And um, and I just enjoy it. It adds such depth and contrast and you just keep going and you keep layering it up. You could leave gaps if you wanted, or you could just carry on. Just gone a bit quiet because I'm uh, concentrating. <laughs> okay, and now I could let, if I want to add another layer, I can just leave this to dry now. And then uh, once um, it's dried, I can add another layer. So I've got to hurry it up a bit. Give it a bit of a blow. Or use the hairdryer. Go keep wafting your hands about. <laughs> so uh, you can, uh, it will dry off quicker. And then I'm going to add one more colour, but I'm not going to go for a dark colour. I'm going to go for a lighter colour. I'm just going to go for a white, which makes it a little bit it's kind of, well, it's quite nice. It can, it's a good way of creating space. If you've not left, space much and um, it's nice it lightens up the darker areas and again puffing it all around adding a little bit more this line here that's going across here I like doing that. I like leaving those lines 
I think that they, they're good, pushing them all out to the same line. I think that makes the work look interesting in the middle. And as you can see, it's such fun. And uh, the, obviously the longer the blow, the more you can drag it out. You can also take your eyebrow in a spray bottle and if you spray this on top, it will create some little tiny cells. Can you see them? And they add another little bit of delight. Um, obviously the drier that the, the uh, painting is, the better it is for these for the for creating these cells. It doesn't got to be perfectly dry, but it has you know it, it does make a difference. So this is quite dry down in this bottom area and when I squirt that you can see it. If it's overly wet, it, they um, tend to just uh, amalgamate together, so, um, yeah. It adds a lot of difference with the cells. And there we have it. So here, that was just a little tiny demonstration of how not to be afraid of alcohol or inks. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Obviously, I'm going to be doing some flowers where you can just push them out and things like that, and yeah absolutely lovely um i wouldn't dare remove the uh well I'll, I'll just remove it and just to show you actually it's obviously going to have bled underneath but one i'll tell you one little trick you could if you use your baby wipe you might be able to remove that from that edge if you were if you were really bothered about it but if I was going to be putting a mount over this, I mean, I'm not going to be saving this picture anyway, but if I was going to be putting a mount over it, it would look, um, let me just take my glove off. Struggling with gloves now, done the messy bit. Just be, let me just tell you, just, you know, just be careful where you put things down and what you do because, yeah, it can make a mess. And then if I wanted to move it around a little bit, although I don't particularly like runners in this this kind of uh, work, it might work well on this side coming down a little bit here because it is a little bit plain here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just creating a little bit of a runner by tilting it. There we go. So let's just have a look, see if the baby white will fetch it off the side. And uh, no, it doesn't. Like I say, it doesn't really matter. It's not important because it's going to be going underneath a mat, mat if I was going to do it. Or I could just crop it off. But the reason why, like I say, the reason why that I want it to be like this over the app is, you know, so I can move the board around to tilt it and things like that. When the bigger the picture that you're doing, obviously the more nice things you're going to get. Here's another nice method here, just getting your baby wipe. Adding a bit more. Well, it's actually removing it, removing the um, the ink, so that's nice as well, and it creates a lovely effect. Okay, so there we go, and then you can do with it what you will. I didn't want to just um, show you on fast time, and then people think, oh, it was too fast, and I can't see it, and people start moaning and everything but uh, there you go beautiful love it excuse me shaking <laughs> so 